Welcome to all in Mahindraro.com. Your success is our success. Our today's discussion topic is how to crack inequality in banking exam. In this discussion, we will try to give how many types of inequality question can be asked in your examination. So let's have a look. This is, as you can see here, this is the basic functioning of inequality. This symbol A is smaller than B. This is known as less than symbol. In, your sec in the second row, it is written A is greater than B. It means this is a symbol of greater than. As you can see here, this is a symbol of less than or equal to. This symbol represents a smaller equal, which means either a smaller less than is true or equally true. Equal is true. Is in your fourth, uh, fourth row, you can see here, A is greater equals to B. It means either A is greater than or equals to B. Last symbol you can you can easily find out a is equals to b. Here it means a and b both are equal. Some new symbols we are going to tell you. Some standard symbol we can say that first standard symbol is not equal, which means either greater or smaller is true. We cannot say hundred percent greater. We cannot say hundred percent smaller. Here it means either greater or smaller. Next symbol is greater not. It means a smaller or equal next symbol a smaller not which means greater or equal next symbol will be smaller equal not that's why answer will be greater last symbol greater equal not here it means a smaller these are some standard symbol which can be any which can be asked from your upcoming examination so do aware about these symbols let's proceed towards the types of inequality These are the types of inequality you can see here. Question related to single line statement, one statement which will be followed by two or three conclusions. You have to decide which of the following conclusion is true and so on. In as you can see here, question related to double line statement, you whenever you find two or more uh, two statement, you have to find which of the common element through which you can solve your question. Next will be combination of more than two statement. This is extension of second state uh, second types. Fourth will be question based on coded format and last question based on fill in the blanks. This type of question can be asked in your standard exam like PO and SBA PO and so on. Let's proceed toward the type of this. Let's have a look. As you can see here, this is a question of single line statement. You can see here question number first to three all are based on this single line statement. What are the short trick you can apply over here? Have a look. If all the symbol between two elements, we are taking for an example two element like x and y. If between x and y, all the symbols are moving towards left like this, then always first priority should be greater. If greater is not present there, then second priority should be greater equal. If first and second both symbol are not present there, then third priority should be equal. Okay, it doesn't matter how many times they are coming. It means we can say that greater is coming for two times, three times or four times. It doesn't matter for our answer. First priority should be greater. Second priority if greater is not there, greater equal. And last priority should be equal. Let's move on towards the other uh, type. If between these two elements, all the symbols are moving right direction, then first priority should be smaller. If smaller is not there, then second priority should be smaller equal. If both first and second are not exist in your question, then third priority should be equal. This is the basic concept. Now we are going to tell you some doubted condition here. If in your question, if you find, whenever you find some symbol are moving towards left and some symbol are moving towards right, here it means we cannot establish the direct relation between X and Y. Whenever you are unable to find the right relationship between two entity, then answer can be here x can be greater than y. We can say that x can be smaller than y and third condition will be x can be equals to y. It means all the three symbols can be possibility. If all the three symbols 
are exist in your both the two conclusion then your answer will be either or if any of one symbol is missing then your answer will be neither one nor to follow let's try to solve this question that how this condition will be help you in your exam you can see here first identify what are the conclusion examiner wants to know from you as you can see here first conclusion is saying a is greater than greater than d first try to find out where is a and where is d as you can see here between a to d all the symbols are moving towards left we have told you earlier if all the symbols are moving towards left then first priority always greater than which is written over here so we can see that conclusion first is definitely true second conclusion is written d is equals to g first try to find out where is d and where is g you can see here d is written over here and g is written over here between d to g all symbols are moving towards right it means on the basis of priority we can say that first priority should be smaller we can say that d is smaller than g but what is written over here d is equals to g which is definitely false so right answer of question number first is only conclusion first is true let's move on towards the second question first focus towards the conclusion that what examiner wants from you there is no need to come in front of the question first try to analyze the conclusion as you can see here which is written over here h and f try to find out where is the h is written and where is f is written as you can see here we have told you earlier if some symbol are moving towards left and some symbol are moving towards right it means we are unable to find out what is the right method what is the right answer between h and f h can be greater than f h can be smaller than f and h can be equals than f if all the three symbols are exist in your conclusion between these two symbol between these two elements then answer will be either or if any of one is missing then answer will be neither nor let's have a look all the three symbols are available or only two symbols are available you can see here between h to f you can see here only two symbols are available one symbol is still missing that is equals to so that's why we are saying that right answer of this question is neither conclusion first nor conclusion second follow let's move on towards the next question in our next question in our third question you can see here examiner wants to know about l to m the answer between l to m you can see here l is smaller equals to m so that's why first conclusion is false because l can be equals to m in your second conclusion you can see l is equals to p but relation between l to p is l is smaller equals to p why i am written over here m or p because m and p both are same both are equal it doesn't matter if any time l is smaller than m then they then l is also smaller than p if any time you will find l is equals to m then l will also equals to p if first conclusion is true suppose if first conclusion is true in any of the cases then 100% second conclusion will false if second conclusion is true in any of the case then 100% first conclusion is false it means between l to m and p we need only these two conclusion which is written over here in your first and second conclusion so that's why we are saying right answer of this question will be either conclusion first will follow or conclusion second will follow do remember how many symbols you are required as you can see here we required only two symbols between l to p and m because m and p are common entity and all if both the symbols if both the requirement if is fulfilled by the examiner then answer will be either first or second let's move on towards the second type of your inequality this is the statement of double line statement you can see here this is the first statement this is the second statement you can see here your uh, two conclusion is written over here are written over here in your conclusion examiner wants to know about e to m we will follow the previous method just try to find out where is e written and where is m is written you can see e is written in second statement and m is written in statement number first now try what is the common elements what is the common attributes between these two statement 
then you will find that comma common statement between these two statement is g so now you can easily solve this question between e to g then answer will be on the basis of priority e is greater than equals to g you can easily find out the right answer between m to g the answer will be smaller m is smaller than g you can easily write over here so that's why answer of this question will be e is greater than m we can say that which is already written in your conclusion so that's why we can say conclusion number first is definitely true let's proceed towards the second conclusion in your second conclusion examiner wants to know about r and j r, r is written in statement number second and j is written in statement number first you can see here common term is g you can see g is greater equals to j and g is greater equals to r it means if between two entity some symbols are moving towards right some symbols are moving towards left then here it means we are unable to find out what is the right answer between j and r j can be greater than j can be smaller than or j can be equals to r but what is written over here only greater that's why it is false so right answer of question number four is only conclusion first full follow let's proceed toward the question number five again two statement are followed by two conclusion we have to decide which of the following conclusion is true as you can see here r is greater than q what is written r and q r is written in statement number first and where is q written q is written in a statement number second now we have to again find out the common attribute between these two statement common letter will be z d e f t j k l z n common element between these two statement is z we can say that z through z we can combine these two statement r is not equals to z it means r can be greater or r can be smaller than z now you can see over here z is not equals to q here it means q can be greater or q can be smaller than z but between r to q we are unable to find out what is the right answer of this question because r can be greater than q r can be smaller than q and r can be equals to q if all the three symbol are present in your conclusion then do mark the answer that either conclusion first or conclusion second will follow if any of the one symbol is missing then do mark the answer neither conclusion one nor conclusion second follow as you can see here you can find r is greater than q one symbol r is smaller than q second symbol is still one symbol is missing that is equal that's why the right answer you can mark in your option like neither conclusion first nor conclusion second will follow let's move on toward the third type of this inequality now you can see here most of the student get confusion while seeing this type of big question you can see here combination of more than two statement is written over here you have to decide which of the answer is right now as per our condition first decide to try out first try to find out what is written in your conclusion in your conclusion you can find d and t examiner wants to know about d and t d is written in statement number first and where is t written t is written in statement number third between d and t what is the right answer you can see common element between these two statement is o now you can see d is smaller than o and o is smaller than t then right answer will be d is smaller than t what is written over here d is greater than t which is definitely false so that's why first conclusion is 100 percent false in your second conclusion what is written k and j between k and j you can find k and z you can find there is no need to combine this j we can easily solve with the help of last two statement that k is greater than q and q is greater than z so right answer will be k is greater than z which is written over here so right answer we can mark in this question is only conclusion second will follow let's move on toward the third uh, next question in this question what is written in the conclusion a and b examiner wants to know about a and b there is no need to solve because we can easily uh, mention uh, easily mention here a is smaller equals to b what is written over here greater that's why 100% false because 
a can be smaller or a can be equals but a cannot be greater than b because of the this analysis we can say that second conclusion is b is greater than e you can see here b is written in the statement number second and e is written in statement number third common term between these two element is c b is greater or equals to c you can see over here and c is greater than e you can see in the second third statement after analysis after combining the both of the statement you can analyze on the basis of priority we can say that b is greater than e which is written in conclusion number second so that's why right answer of this question will be option number second will follow let's move on towards the next question question based on fill in the blanks this is one of the best question of this slide you can see here which of the following symbols should be filled in the given spaces spaces are given over here in the given spaces in the given spaces in order to make the given expression j smaller or equals to p definitely true you have to find out which of the following symbols should be put over here so that z j will be smaller or equals to p it will be definitely true j is written over here and p is written over here there is no need to find what is written in this first blank and what is written in second blank you have to analyze this only last four blank while answering this type of question short trick is do remember what is needed for you you need a smaller equal there is no need for a smaller there is no need for greater there is no need for greater equal if any of these three symbol will come in your last four spaces then you will cancel this con options and on the basis of this elimination you can easily solve this question like if any of the option you will find smaller if any of the option you will find greater if any of the option you will find greater equal in last four spaces then answer will be eliminated as you can see here last four elements we will check last four symbol we will check as you can see first symbol will eliminate because of a smaller second symbol eliminate second option eliminate because of a smaller third option is right you can check over here j smaller equal j equal equal and smaller equal with the help of this we can say that j is smaller equals to p which is asked by your examiner so right answer of this question will be option number third is true let's move on towards the next question again this question is based on fill in the blanks you have to decide a which of the following space which of the following symbols should be filled in the given space in order to make the given expression a is smaller than f and b is smaller equals to c is definitely true first now a to f you have to analyze four symbol and b to c you just need to analyze only two symbols that is you need to definitely true b is smaller equals to c if between b and c it means only if a last two symbol if you will follow the combination of last two symbol then any time you will find is greater any time you will find smaller any time you will find greater equal then that option will be eliminated by elimination method you can see in first option is smaller is written over here that that's why first option you can easily eliminate in second option you can find a smaller is written over here again this option can be eliminated in third option it is okay because if we need a smaller equal that is true because if we write over here a smaller equal and a smaller equal then this condition will follow b is smaller equals to c in your fourth option again false why because of this sign that is greater now if the answer of third is not follow then who will follow fifth option will follow if fifth will not follow then answer will follow third now just put all the symbols over here a smaller equal a smaller a smaller equal equal and a smaller equal we have to analyze a smaller than f you can see here a is smaller than is f is definitely true because what is written over here is smaller and second conclusion b is smaller equals to c we have already finished that b is smaller equals to c so after method of elimination you can easily tackle this type of question this is the best short trick of this type of fill in the blanks questions so let's proceed towards the next method next method which you can see over here in the following question 
some symbol are used for according to the following meaning. Now, what is the short trick for solving this type of question? Draw a diagram like this. Greater, greater equal, equal, smaller, smaller equal. If any of the symbol which represents represent for greater, we will put it over here. If any of the symbol which represent for greater equal, we will put over here. One by one, we will put all the symbols over there. What is the right meaning of any every of the symbol? This after that you will analyze. You can easily solve the question like this. If a at rate b means a is not smaller than b. If a is not smaller than b, it means a is greater equals to b. So we have written a at the rate will be here. Second option hash means a is not greater. It means hash is either smaller or equals to b. Third percentage here is means neither greater nor equal, which means is smaller than. So percentage is written for smaller. In your fourth or state uh, fourth meaning, you can see over here plus means neither smaller nor nor greater, which means plus means equal. Last symbol states that dollar, which means neither smaller nor nor equal. Then result will be output will be greater. So symbol represent for greater. After analyzing the these facts, you can easily solve this question with the help of this trick. Now we are going to provide you the short trick like. G percent is T. It is up to you how fast you draw the right conclusion, right mark. T hash hash means small equals to P. P plus plus means equal. Now with the help of this statement, which we have drawn over here, we can easily solve this conclusion like T plus J, which means T is equal to J, which is hundred percent false because T can be smaller than J. Second conclusion, which is written over here, J dollar T, which means J greater T, which is again false because J can be greater or equals to C. With the help of these two conclusion, we can say that either J is equals to T or J is greater than T. So right answer will be either conclusion first or conclusion second will follow. First condition for solving this type of question: draw the diagram so that. There is no need to look again and again of these symbols. So do remember, make a chart for this and focus that how can you easily tackle the term. That's why this conclusion, this statement, with the help of this, you can easily solve this question. It is up to you how will you solve this question. That's all about today's discussion. Hope you will get all the trick. We have sufficient time. We have limited time. We have limited time duration. That's why we will focus some key structures, some key point that will be beneficial for our 